And to help us understand today's proceedings a little better, we're now joined by UT Political Science Associate Professor Dr. Samuel Nelson. Dr. Nelson, the Democrats say no one's above the law. The Republicans are arguing that the president didn't break any laws, but in terms of an impeachment, that's almost an irrelevant argument, isn't right. it? Right. The Constitution does not require that an, a law be broken. Some things are against the law and not impeachable. Some things are impeachable but not against any specific law. Let's talk about the process today. We've been watching every congressperson, all 535, are going to have their say or have the opportunity to have mm -hmm. their say before the actual vote begins? Right. I think today is really about the members who aren't on the Intelligence Committee or Judiciary. They get an opportunity to speak for a minute, a minute and a half right. to their constituents. So it's on their local news in their home district. And can you draw parallels between the Clinton impeachment and what's happening today, the likely impeachment of President Trump? I think that was very much a, a, a partisan vote. Uh, only five party switchers in each party on the Clinton vote. And I think we'll see even less than that today. And bottom line, going forward, uh, likely impeachment tonight uh, when the full House does get the vote. President Trump, as uh, Serena Marshall reported, on the campaign trail in Battle Creek, not right. that far from here tonight. So how will this resonate in the battleground states uh, if it hasn't already? Well, I think Wisconsin is the key state okay. to watch. And while impeachment is uh, has majority approval nationally in Wisconsin, uh, the president's got a little bit better numbers on impeachment. It's not as popular there. Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll find out more tonight after the votes. Yeah. Expect it tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Dr. Nelson, thanks so much for being with us, helping us uh, unpack this a little bit more, again, from UT's political science department. Thanks again.